All right, all right. So, all right, we're going. Let's ask AJ if she can hear all of us now. Hello, AJ. Good morning. Hey. All right. I am going to, going forward, I am going to set up a monitor over here that has, um, that we can hear going live. I can hear other people now. All right, good. Well, Rich, what you could do is set the other monitor up live, but turn the volume down so nothing picks it up, and no, then the, just the have, them, have a, a, a level that, session, a no, level station on no, it. No, no, The problem is, is that I have to hear that you can hear us before I turn it down. I was saying you can put a level station on there to monitor, uh, to monitor the levels from That's the computer why, itself. You, you can't. That's why we need, then I, I would need a different. I would need a different computer for that. That's why we need a producer, right? Yeah, because because it, it, it would only be monitoring the line in, Doug. Otherwise, uh, no. just you know, set yeah. up a tablet somewhere. Yeah, I know. I, I hear what you're saying. Um, so we could do something like that. <laughs> AJ said it's worth. It was worthy of her insomnia. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was. Thank you, AJ. It, uh, although she may not hear us, but. Well, uh, so, uh, silence. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, let's just jump into your news topic. Sorry, John. You mean the thing that I wanted to talk about? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the thing you wanted. Did the to intros about. and everything go live? Um, no, John. We're not live. We're we're making you do everything not live. Hey, Dave. AJ, yeah. AJ killed Charles' dad. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's 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 good, and that's messed up. Well, that's funny. Okay, thanks. Let me know. Um, that was that's a good storyline. It's it was a, probably a character in AJ's campaign. Yes, right, it you was. Guys, yeah, you guys yeah. can't piece that together. Charleston was my character. I thought it was maybe the guy who created Charleston Chews. That's exactly what I was thinking, John. <laughs> oh, that's funny too. I was thinking the same thing. I was gonna say, you know, Mr. Chu. My Zoom is frozen with me, like half my mouth half open. That's okay. Yeah. That's that's normal. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, Probably had something to do with dropping the phone in the car. And Dave, you were you were arrested at his funeral in a drag net. <laughs> funny, yeah, funny. Faster. Love I it. had fun with those guys. They're very creative. They're very creative. Love it. All right. Thanks, John. AJ. Sorry. Give us. I'm oh. here. Go ahead. Fail boat. This talk is the about, fail boat. Talk to us about, <laughs> talk to us about unvaccinated people. Playing board games that aren't boring. Yeah. I'm already bored. No, 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 no. I wanted to talk about my topic. We're ready? We're good? Yes. We we're ready. Ready. Go. Okay. So minutes. this Sunday, I had family members over for the first time in probably over a year. Uh, it was Mother's Day. My aunt came over. My aunt is dealing with cancer. She's got her own thing going on. So it's like, okay. Aunt Nona? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So the point is, is that um, my cousin, her daughter, and her husband came over to, you know, spend a little bit of time for Mother's Day. You know, not long, maybe like an hour. And um, so I'm like sitting there, I'm like kind of chit-chatting. And it's like, yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen you guys. You know, it's been like, you know, it's, it's been probably a year because of all this stuff. But, you know, now that things are calming down a little bit and everyone's gotten their shots. And I'm like, you guys got these shots, right? And they're both like, no. And me and my mom collectively were like, Ugh. like we didn't say anything to them while they were there. But after they left, I was like, did you know that they weren't vaccinated? And she's like, no, I wouldn't have asked them to come if, they, if I did. And my brothers, my brothers, my two older brothers have already said that they're not planning on getting vaccinated, which I'm not thrilled about. But honestly, I know how they lean politically. And I can totally see that they uh, buy it up with that whole story there. Okay. But still the whole idea that like I had people in my house who didn't wear masks, didn't disclose anything and felt it perfectly acceptable, I felt was kind of messed up. What are you guys' thoughts about something like that? 
I, all right, so so a couple of things, right? First of all, I I can completely understand the uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I I will. I know we talked a little bit before the show, but I will say, you should feel less uncomfortable because you guys are vaccinated. Yes, it's not perfect, and if people aren't getting vaccinated, they're really going to be the ones at risk here, because um. But but anyway, I don't know why this is political. Six months yeah. ago. Both political sides were saying getting get vaccinated. So I have yeah. zero reason to understand why people think why this is why this became such a political thing. There's nothing political about this. Both sides, like a year ago, if we go back 12 months ago, it was a hugely Republican push, yeah. right? Now it's a huge Democrat push. I don't understand why it's political. Both sides were pushing. But because one was is in power now and the other one's in power now, the other guys yeah. don't want it done. It's just stupid. I mean, people. I hate to I hate to say, but I think that's exactly it. If the vaccine had come out under Trump, they would be pushing for it wholeheartedly. Of like, this is he such did. a great thing that I did. I got but this thing available for the country. But John, he did. He could try doing that. Right. <laughs> well, but that's what I'm saying. No, this is why. This is this is where the this is where the stupidity of uh, of people come in and and. I don't mean people as a whole. I mean individuals, right? This is the no. stupidity of, of, no, no, no. of a political of a right. political party. But I mean, I I have I have so I have some opinion here. Um, Sorry, as a person, so as a person who didn't want to, but now is going to, right? Um, it wasn't political or anything like that. It was um, I'm just you know freaked out about putting like something that's just was barely tested in my body but realistically i'm going to do it anyway all right um you know because like there's you know there's obviously just bull crap on both sides so whatever and i want to i'm going to get a free trip out of it so i don't even care um (laughs) yeah but the one thing i'll say though like i understand saying that there's bull crap on both sides but you do have a lot of people on one specific side actively hyping up all the risks and like using faulty information to make it sound more dangerous and than it John, is. And John, you have the people on the other side berating them and, you know, treating them like trash because they are not doing well, it because they don't I want guess, to. Well, because I they're guess, putting people I, at risk, though. Like, but this but is one of those things. Okay, so wait, did your, did your parents teach you that when you're at school to make fun of the person who's making fun of you or just leave them alone? Okay, no, but at I the have, same time, my parents, well, when I went well, to school, they tell anybody... Let Dave I, get only, in here. I only have about one minute left before I got to sign off. Let Dave and I have something that's uh, exactly, I got two quick points. One is I agree with Rich that it's not quote unquote political because both sides, I mean, uh, when, uh, when the Republican Party was in charge of the presidency, they were pushing Operation Warp Drive to try to get the vaccine produced and, and, and out, right? So that's great. Um, the thing is, is though, that there are some news agencies that uh, are generally watched by the Republican Party that did not follow that line. And this is where I think it got confused between what people what people are hearing and the politics. Okay, and then the second point is, is I completely agree with what Doug just said, which is I listened to a podcast yesterday of a doctor in like Tennessee or Mississippi, a Republican state, and the doctor would pull individual people into the office and talk to them straight at their level using very non-medical terms and ask them, are you getting the vaccine? No. Why are you not thinking about getting the vaccine? I'm just curious. And they would say things like about a a quote unquote microchip. They would say things that was developed too fast. And so then he would talk to them like a normal person, not berating them not accusing them and give them the actual fact, the medical facts, and then say to them, now, if you want to get the vaccine, I can help you. If you don't want to get the vaccine, that's okay. It's your choice. And so some of these people are choosing to get the vaccine when somebody treats them with respect. So I do sort of agree with what Doug is saying, and I do sort of agree with what Rich is saying, but there is, it did turn political, Rich, uh, you know, and that oh, is I, unfortunate. I know, I know it did. And and, and, let, and let me say that the, the, the two excuses, right, that are not, that are completely, that are not acceptable, they're just not acceptable, is religious 
and well, except for one particular religion, but religious reasons and political reasons. The reason why I say religious reasons is because I had a friend, right? When we were talking about the vaccines, I'm not getting vaccine, and then started quoting revelations at me. I said, "Don't you dare!" I said, "Don't you dare quote revelations at me." I said, "Because you don't understand what that means. You haven't read the whole Bible." Cover to cover. But I said, I have twice. I said, so don't quote revelations at me. This is the same exact crap that we got when the flu shot came out. Listen, it, it's valid to turn around and go, I think it was tested too quickly. Okay, I get that. However, there has never really been a push as big as this one before with clinical trials and stuff like that. Hey, I get the little bit of uncomfortable. I, I and I and I and I can understand that. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm my just... family is is in a legit cult. All right, so this is from AJ. Fun fact: part of my family is in a legit cult, and they're not getting the vaccine because God will protect them from COVID. So I know what religion she's talking about. Okay. And I know what cult religion she's talking about, and it's um it it's that look that's that's their thing, but <laughs> over and over. We had a polio outbreak not too long ago. Does pe do people not understand this? It just happened, right? Within our, which should be within our memory, but apparently we can't remember back that far. <clears throat> we had a polio outbreak because those people never wanted to get vaccinated. Can I can I push something really quick? Sure. I watched a really good video on Monday on YouTube <clears throat> from a guy who I follow a lot. His name is uh, H Bomber Guy. Um, and what he talked about is he did a, like a whole video on the origin of the anti-vax movement and the what people don't realize or what people choose to ignore is that the, the guy that scientist who's now a disgraced scientist who started the whole movement the only reason why he initially was anti-vax he wasn't anti-vax he was anti a very specific vaccine and it's because he was working on developing his own version and wanted to discredit the popular one so he could then sell his own one to the mass public. And it's only when that didn't work that he went into the, the, you know, the fringe movement and just started making money off book sales and appearances. Right. Like the whole thing on anti-vaccine was based on a faulty study with plenty of bad evidence and bad information by a guy whose whole agenda was just to grift the system his own way. Right, right. And, well, and, and let me, and, and let me put with this at the AJ and and please forgive me in advance because this I I I, I understand that religious I well understand that religious religious sect but I think that religious sect misinterprets the beginning of the Bible when we when people were forced out of Eden that there was a good and a bad thing about being forced out of Eden we were allowed to live in Eden in ignorance. Once we ate from the tree of knowledge, we were kicked out. That does not mean you lose your knowledge and you got kicked out. You just got kicked out of Eden. So you got to keep your knowledge and you need to embrace science, not turn it away for a religious purpose. Sorry, that's how I interpret it because that's what it says. All right, so <laughs> but let's go back says. to our. I was going to go back to the original topic. Right. So let's that... let's cut out the religious stuff. Let's cut out the political stuff. Okay. Let's just talk so... about real. Here. Yeah. Let's so talk about etiquette. Let's talk about etiquette. Yes. Hold on, John. Uh, you know what? Sure. It's funny. It's funny that you mentioned etiquette. Okay. Um, because listen, I understand that um, them not disclosing them being them having a shot, you know, or getting the uh, vaccine is 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 bad. But at the same time, it would you know when you invite someone over, if you are fearful of that kind of thing, and you know that this world is you know the way it is. Um, that that should be a, a screening question, right? In my opinion, this is my opinion. It is also your due diligence to ask people if you do not want someone who is not vaccinated over, mention that or do that. I've um I've already talked to a few friends, like family friends that were um, that were very uh, friendly with my grandfather when he was alive, uh, and I haven't talked to them in, in a year, a couple of years, right? And I wanted to see them, and he's like, you know, you know, if you're vaccinated, feel free to come on over, right? That was the first thing out of his mouth when I said, um, you want to grab lunch, you know, and you know, I respected that, and I said, "Yeah, you know what? I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the vaccine. By, I've had a, you know, fully shot by June. So, you know what? Let's let's try it in June, right? So, you know, and that's, and I think that's the same. You know, I've, I've had that happen multiple times to me, 
um, I, I haven't had anyone, um, you know, talk to me yet about that. Well, I, I really don't see a lot of people, <laughs> to be fair, but, um, uh, you know, but that that's just my that's just my um, my thoughts there. Wait, wait, wait. So hold on, hold on. <laughs> AJ just said, uh, I'm sorry, Doug. I, I agree. I agree with what you were saying. <laughs> so AJ just said, I love people buying fake vaccinated car vaccination cards. You get one for free by getting vaccinated. Yeah. So, uh, I <laughs> is, that, is that a real thing? I, I was going to say I didn't know that was a real thing. Um, but I guess when you think about it, it's really just a card with a couple of dates of where you got the shot. Yeah. You know, anybody yeah. can look that. You know, so you just grab a couple of those. But then the 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 difference is is that any type of major organization has connections right to the CDC or the the, the health uh, website, who can because you have to register there when you're done in. Right. Um, I remember having to go through a whole thing in the CVS I went to that stupid Wi-Fi, so I barely do it. Mm. Uh, so, <laughs> so I, I just, it's so, it's so weird. I, I don't know. I, I, you know what? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't understand. I, I'm okay. And like what, what Dave said, he's not here. If you want to talk to somebody about their true fears, just don't give me just don't give me religious. But I'll give you the quote. He says he he started quoting. He started saying, um, "Only those with the mark which should be allowed to buy and sell." I'm like, "Oh my God!" He said, "Don't you dare quote the Bible at me." I was yeah. like, "It's so ridiculous." I said, "It's ridiculous." So this is the same stuff we had during the flu shot at the beginning. Yep. This is the same when we had the vaccination. They're still trying to prove that vaccinations in children leads to autism, and, and, they, and, they, and I believe that there that there may be a connection there. But it's scientific. Well, no, that that's that's that video I was telling you about. There's not like it's re like the studies have shown that it's really not. And the initial study that did had a biased agenda and was based on faulty information in the first place that didn't do extensive enough testing. But you know what? Fair, that's fair, John. But you, but in, in both cases, they were scientific. They weren't rumor, right? right? And and even if and if the first one, if the first one didn't prove it, that's right. You know, I, I, I'm with you. And I didn't I didn't follow up. I don't have the. I didn't I didn't see that other other podcast, John. So I apologize. But it's the same thing. This is the same thing. It goes over and over and over and over, and people repeat themselves, and they just don't remember they repeat themselves. So also people don't like admitting that they're wrong. So like if you have something where it's something's gonna somebody's gonna get called out, but it's gonna make them look bad, they're not gonna want to go for it. So it's like people like being right. People like looking like they're being right more than they actually like being right. Like it almost doesn't matter if you're correct as long as they win the argument. Well, it, yeah, and and it goes a little bit further than that, John. Is some people and they and you you don't realize that they do it. But they'll say they'll make such ambiguous statements that they can't be wrong. You know, someone is going like, "Oh, there's some clouds in the sky. It may or may not rain today." They're they're not wrong. I said, "Well, it may or may not." And if it rains, they said, "I told you so." Well, <laughs> you know? it de it depends on the cloud type, right? So um... it, it, no, 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 but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the point being, the point being is that they'll just say it. Uh, so AJ Rich, said, you're telling me you're anti, are you you're, you're anti uh, weatherman? <laughs> I am anti weatherman. Those guys suck. <laughs> I, I also AJ says I also like that a lot of the anti-vax crowd are vaccinated because it was mandatory when we were kids. It's true. It's true. It's it, it, it now it's it's not mandatory, but people there's no reason not to do it. There well, are it's some... mandatory. It's mandatory if you're going to go to public school. Right, so you can use the same Bible quote there, you know. Um, it's mandatory now. It's going to be mandatory for this vaccine to fly. I don't fly, but that's the, so that's not why I got vaccinated. Is it really? It's going to be mandatory for it to fly. It already is. Um, to my knowledge, it's not. It, I thought it, it was. It, it already is. You, you 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 need to you need to be vaccinated in order. Wow, well, that's completely. Insane. You, you are in an enclosed space, and people cough constantly. <laughs> well, I get it, but if you have the vaccine, you shouldn't be worried. 
Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> that's why, you know, you have to be vaccinated. No, but the problem is that people aren't vaccinated. They might not have the immunity, and they could be sub- susceptible to variants. That's that's the whole point, is the, you need that herd immunity. The, 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 problem, the, the problem with flying is that the, um, yeah, they are Petri dishes, but the, the, oh. the, the thing with flying is that the airlines could potentially be held accountable for not keeping something clean enough when you can't. It's hard. Well, another thing, though, like, we do real, we do understand that in six months, everyone's going to need to get a booster shot, first of all, for the variants. Second of all, I don't care. I'm fine with that. Wait, I wait. get the flu shot every year. I, I don't, because, like, I'm a healthy person, but... Um... That has nothing to do. It, it, don't, don't even go there, because that's not one of them. Whether you're right, healthy or not, not, getting the flu shot has nothing to do with health. I had the flu one time, one time in my life. I will never want to get that again. I don't want that feeling again. I've had the flu before. <laughs> but anyway, but like, first of all, we're going to need a booster shot. Second of all, you know, so if someone doesn't get a booster shot now, oh, all of a sudden, you know, they're they're tripped up, right? So second of all, you could still get you could still get COVID. Even yeah, if you have just like, yeah, I get it. Just like you can still get the flu because they're viruses and they mutate and there's different strains and we get all that. But the, the effects that you that the effects that you that you uh, experience are, are much less or supposedly much less and you know what it, it doesn't matter a booster shot i mean you used to have to get booster shots when you were a kid yeah but like i don't know i don't i think there's going to be a booster every year so like i'm just curious as to That's what's okay the... at some point you're going to be able to mix it in with your flu shot maybe not right away but they will I hope so, because that's fucking annoying. Excuse my French. Oh, jeez. It's seven o'clock. You know it's it's seven really, o'clock let me let me tell you something. Do you know how <laughs> not annoying? Do you know how not annoying that is, Doug? It's what? like it's so not annoying. You go up. CVS has it for free. It's like, oh, do you need one? I go. I go every six months to see my. Doctor. No, 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 no. I mean, like, because because it. Well, last time I got a flu shot, right, my arm went numb for a week. So if I was supposed to get two oh, of them, you were so you know, healthy. Well, I only did it one time. I never had I it. I, I never have any side of side effect of the shot. I, I have like this bruise. That's all I have. It's like this weird bruise. You are an unhealthy person. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but so like I and I hear the horror stories from people getting their second shot here. So I, I'm just hoping I can get them together. So, right, I can, so, so yeah, but I, yeah, but I got I got my second shot and it was it was nothing. Like I get like granted, my mom maybe, was like a little bit. Everyone, I like a lot of people I've been talking to. Their arm get, get a huge yeah. bruise. They are tired all day. So, so all this... here's here's what happened on the second shot. No, you're right. You're right, Doug. But this is they they listed. This is what should happen if the if the uh, if the shot is working. You should get you, you should get flu like symptoms, right? And it mm-hmm. should go away within 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And then tiredness can last for 24 to 48 hours. That is exactly what happened. Okay. I, and I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I had that right. I had chills, but they went away quickly. I, I had chills and a fever, and that went away quick quickly. But then I, I had some aches, and uh, I was tired. But all of a sudden, they just it just like disappeared, you know. And it was as if I was never sick. And I went on. The, and I didn't know this, by the way. Like everybody was telling me about it, but I didn't realize that they published. This is exactly what should happen, and this means it's working. I was like, oh, all right. Then I feel better. But that's what will happen. Not, I'm not kidding. That's that's what should happen. Okay. Just be prepared. I am. Yeah. Unfortunately, I still I still went to all my meetings. Um, oh, I went to that's all my the worst. And, and then I finally I I messaged my boss and I was like, listen, when I'm not in meetings, I'm just lying down. So if you need anything, me, this this sucks. Um, <laughs> and and AJ pointed out that you could still spread the virus if you are vaccinated. That's true. And so then, there's like, so then there that's like another reason as to why 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 is it a requirement? You know, I mean, if it's going to still be spread from the vaccination, like it's so yeah, funny. It's because funny. because other people that are vaccinated doesn't matter. And the last thing AJ said was, "I just got super tired both times." <clears throat> I didn't. Get, yeah, I, I didn't. Get I kind of got the same the thing. Yeah. I I didn't get tired the first time. The first time. It was the second time that I, I did get tired. Um, 
All right, that's it. We're at 703. This is a polarizing thing. It prevents you from getting sick and, you know, dying. Listen, I have asthma. Um, Me too. I, I actually forgot <laughs> because of my asthma. And I actually forgot that I was eligible in the first round. Someone tried to get me in, and I thought I was lying. No, no, no. I can wait. Then someone pointed out and says, don't you have asthma? I was like, oh, yeah, I do. But I didn't think of it because, Doug, like you, I, I, I may be a little overweight, but I'm, but I'm healthy, right? Because I'm pretty active. Right. And so I, like, so I understood. So I, I wasn't really afraid. I was okay with waiting. But I got it. I'm done. But 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 what is overweight? Now let's now we have another topic for next next time. Is overweight truly overweight? I, I bum, bum, bum. that's interesting. That's an interesting topic. I I feel I'm overweight. This is not because somebody told me it, but I remember what it was like to be down lower. Yeah. So I wanted to be down lower again, and that was that's, only it was only a year ago, man. See the thing is, like the thing is, yeah. Oh well, you know what, man? The, you know quarantine and not taking care of yourself during quarantine now that's what'll do you um but but the thing is they say like you're overweight if you're x amount of pounds and x height right and it's just it's really not true because everyone's body type's different it's impossible to really gauge that on a specific scale you know you have to you have to legitimately do like uh, that. I, I, I get it i get it yeah, so what is overweight? What is overweight? Da, da, da. I agree, BMI is outdated and dumb. Yeah, uh, it's 100% stupid. I think we sh I, I also, when I get a chance, AJ, I'm going to reach out to you because we should talk about, um, wanna, I'd like to talk to you about the weekly word. <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, I have a great show idea too. Just letting you know. John, we're done. Uh, you want to you wanna bring us bring us home? Sure. Uh, thank you so much for everybody who's watching us. Thank you, AJ, for joining us this morning. Uh, we will, uh, Dave, I think, does have his own show tonight at, what, 9 or 10? I think he always does it later than I think that it is. It, it all depends on how long it takes me to respond with the code. Right. <laughs> but either way, Dave will be doing his own thing, so keep your eyes open for whatever notifications you get for Twitch. Um, join us again on Friday at 6.30 for another episode of Over Coffee. Again, be safe out there, uh, be careful, and most of all, have a great day, and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. AJ, get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later. Thank you for joining us today, AJ. <laughs> no? All right. That's fine. I can't tell you. Well, I mean, I've been up since five. It's not like I can just go back to sleep. Well, you right. should go back to sleep, John. That's terrible. I'm on my, I'm on my way to work.